We have another uh, survival story. World-class climber Emily Harrington trying to make history, falling from Yosemite's El Capitan. Rescued by one of the most famous climbers in the world. We're going to speak to him exclusively in a moment. But first, Will Reeve is here with her story. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Absolutely terrifying. A climber's worst nightmare, a free fall without safety ropes. That's what happened to Emily Harrington while she was attempting to become the first woman to free climb the rock face in a single day. And now she's telling her story. Emily Harrington is one of the world's top rock climbers, known for scaling great heights. Hang in there, Em. But this morning, these dramatic images of Harrington after she survived a terrifying fall off El Capitan, the iconic rock face in Yosemite National Park. Fortunately, another legend of the sport in the right place at the right time to save her life. But I can feel everything. In this exclusive video, you can see rescue workers carefully stabilizing Emily Harrington's neck. She's got tailbone pain okay. and lower back pain. Okay. Are you feeling any tingling at all? No tingling, I'm just okay. cold. I actually remembered thinking that like, oh, having pain is actually a good thing because it means that I can feel. And it was a huge relief. The 33-year-old had climbed about 150 feet when she lost her grip. From her hospital bed, Harrington showing her face badly cut after she says she pinballed down a section of the cliff. It wasn't a moment of panic. It wasn't a moment of surprise. Honestly, it was a very calm moment. In my head, it was just kind of like, okay, I'm falling. This is happening. Harrington was attempting to free climb the 3,000 foot sheer face in a single day. A no ropes, no room for error feat made famous and completed for the first time by Alex Hunold in the Oscar winning 2018 documentary Free Solo. That's the worst hold on the entire route. So you get maybe half your thumb on the hold. Honold was with Harrington when she fell, keeping her safe and immobilized as other climbers, including her boyfriend, Adrian Bollinger, also helped with the rescue. GMA was with Harrington live on the face of El Capitan in May as she trained for the free climb, the one that ultimately nearly killed her. Yeah, this will probably be my biggest challenge yet. It's definitely taking a lot of time and effort and energy, and it's sort of a culmination of everything I've ever wanted to do in climbing. For right now, I'm just gonna rest and recover. Then in the coming weeks, just see how I feel and slowly get back into climbing. In his Instagram post, Bollinger praised his girlfriend Harrington's warrior spirit and emphasized to ABC News just how elite of a climber Harrington is. Falls are a peril of the sport, no matter your skill level. Thank goodness she was with people mm like Alex Hunnell, mm. though. Yes, and we're going to speak to Alex right now, Will. Thank you very much. Part of the team that helped save Emily's life. Alex, thank you so much for joining us. And, and tell us how Emily's doing right now. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I think I think Emily's doing well. I mean, you have to ask her, but I think she's going to make a full recovery, and I think she's feeling a lot better, obviously, than she was. Yes, we're, we're very happy to, to hear that. Please tell us when you knew something uh, was terribly wrong. When did you first know? So, so j just to be clear about what happened, so Emily was climbing with a rope, and so she was attempting to free climb a, a route, but there's a distinction between free climbing and free soloing, and so she was using equipment to protect her in case of a fall, but she was trying to just climb it with her hands and feet. And so I was holding the other end of the rope, and she unfortunately slipped and, and uh, you know, hit some things as she fell. But, um, but ultimately, the safety equipment caught her as as we expected to. I mean, that's why she's using equipment. Yeah, and I'm glad. And, that, uh, and you know, thankfully, she'll recover. Right, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, there were some in the climbing community that were a bit critical because you were tying your shoe at the time uh, of, of the fall. So how do you respond to people who are, or who are questioning that? No, I, I don't think anyone's really questioning that. I think that if you're, uh, you know, Emily was attempting a very difficult goal, which is to, to free climb El Cap in a day on a route that, that no woman has ever successfully mm -hmm. free climbed in a day. I mean, basically, she's trying something that's very difficult. And in order to do that, you have to make certain strategic decisions about, about where to save time and, and what style to climb in. And so what we were doing, while not textbook, is, uh, is pretty common for, for you know, basically, it's, it's a useful strategy for that kind of a goal. When you realized she was falling, what'd you do, Alex? Um, so, I mean, you know, I was, I was blind, so I'm holding the rope, but then uh, when she fell, so much rope fell into the system, like so much rope pooled at my feet, basically, that uh, I wound up actually uh, grabbing the rope with my hands in an effort to catch her sooner. Um, and then she actually hit some things on the wall. You know, it's hard to say exactly what happened because it was nighttime and it's dark and her headlamp flew off, and so it was hard to tell the distances that she fell and, and what exactly happened. But, um, but it was sort of an unconventional uh, lead fall. It was 
like a very unusual situation in that she must have hit some things and and also I don't know if you saw the photos but she had a rope burn around her neck right. uh, which is a really unusual way for the rope to wrap around you so it's hard to know what exactly happened but um but basically you know I caught the rope and and she came to a stop and then and then we uh assess the situation and helped her from there. It was dark and cold, um, f uh, freezing temperatures. Do you think the weather had a factor in her losing her grip? Yeah, I mean, it's not just the weather, it's also just late season in Yosemite. I mean, it is in the mountains and it's late November. Uh, and, it, and again, that's all strategy though, because it's a trade-off between cooler conditions on the rock during the day. Uh, you, you know, starting in, in the early morning like that is sort of required in order to climb the whole route in a, in a timely fashion. And so, you know, it's always balancing different choices. Well, Alex, we, we're glad that you were there, and we appreciate you joining us this morning, and we're wishing her a, a full recovery. You take care. Thanks so much. Michael? Yeah, I think yeah. she'll do great. Yeah, okay. no, thank you. You got it. Thanks. And I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch Free Solo. Oh, he if, was. I mean, it's uh, amazing what they mm -hmm. do, and, and boy, you got to have some nerves of steel. Yes, sure you do. Too. You so sure do. the full recovery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.